Welcome to the All Grandary YouTube channel. This is my first video in two years and we're gonna give it a go again. So, we're going to focus more on like, well, topics would be like, um, cows eating in our barn. Like what they eat, how it works, or how we feed them and stuff like that. Or let's just say the milking robots, we're gonna show you like how they milk. Today we're gonna be showing you though how we do cow comfort. So like bedding, feeding, eating, it's kind of all hodgepodge of everything, but just a little bit on each thing. So we'll show you all these things in this video. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to comment and I will do my best to answer them. Can't expect me to answer every question because I don't know every answer to every question. But if I can answer it, I can and will either point you to a video I've already made or make a video to answer that question. So. Please have fun watching this video and hope to educate you and equip you on how dairy farmers work in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. So this is our feeding robot. It drives around our barn and pushes feet up for the cows next to the fence, uh, next to the headlocks because um, the cows when they're eating they always like to push the feet out and they can't reach it then. So that thing with the little like metal skirt around the bottom will push all the feed back up to where the cows are so they can eat it again. And on top of that, it'll mix new feed for them to eat all the time, um, completely automatically. Um, so this basically gives the cows the ability to eat whenever they want. Again, healthier, happier, and basically it just makes them milk more, which is what is what our second goal is. Our first goal is to keep them happy, clean, and healthy. Well, this thing, it feeds the cows, so whenever they want to eat, it gives them feed, and they never have no feed to eat. Um, so that's really cool. I really don't know how they did this, but it has like a sensor that goes around and it reads the top of the headlock, so it doesn't know, so it doesn't go too far that way or that way. Um, and then it also sends like little metal strips on the in the concrete, so it knows where it is, and it gets around the barn, feeds cows, and then comes back. Um, we won't be showing too much footage of this this video because we're just giving you cow comfort. But uh, we'll sh we'll show you um, the feeding robots uh, in one of our future videos. And here's the vector. So this is one cattle waterers we own here on the farm. Cattle waterers are basically like, as the cows drink them, they fill back up with fresh water again, so they never go dry. One way this benefits the cows is they always have water to drink, so they never go thirsty. That keeps them as happier cows. And all this water that we use in the water is recycled water. So we recycle it by means of when we pump the milk from our robots to our bulk tank, um, all the water goes to like a pr plate cooler, it's called. Um, that plate cooler cools the milk by tap cold water, cools it down to like 55 degrees instead of like 100. And um, all that warmer water goes back into like a holding tank. And that holding tank gives water to these cattle waters. So, it's warmer water. The reason that's so important is cows like warmer water better than cold water. So 
By giving them warm water, we keep them happier and basically give them what they want. It just keeps the cows happier. So this is our cleaning robot. It scrapes all the manure off the floor of our barn. And when it does that, it sucks it into like a compartment chamber, like a vacuum sort of. And then it comes back to its station that it's in right now and it gets charged and it receives more water to spray as well. Now you may ask, why do we need to spray water with the collector? Well, the, the reason is um, if you spray water right after you clean the manure off the floor, it will eliminate slipping, which sounds backwards, but on concrete, if you have more water on rough concrete, it'll actually be less slippery. And it also sprays in front of it, so any dry manure will be liquefied more so it can vacuum up easier. So that's the reason for water. It's very essential when we use it in the summer because the fans dry out the concrete. Um, and yeah, so it works really nice that way. And then when it goes out, it has like an ultrasound sensor that bounces off like the curbs and walls in the alleys and pretty much tells it where it needs to go. And then it has like a program of the like what alleys are which and like where to turn and stuff. So I, I find it amazing how it can figure out where to go all the time and what to do. Um, so that's what the collector does. So when the collectors drive through this graded area, it, it unloads itself into this grate while it drives past, or it comes up through here and then it drops it into this pit and this pit just goes directly to the slotted area. So it has a vacuum in the front and it sprays water out the front and then it sprays water out the back as well to prevent slipping. So this is a cattle brush, um, motion activated for the cow's comfort. They just push it and it starts turning. They can use it whenever they want, in whatever way they want. They can scratch their head and their back with it or pretty much anywhere they can reach. Um, it doesn't just like push and turn, You could, they, it also like tilts. It, it adjusts to the certain cow that's using it. So it's not like too short for a cow that to like do that with your back. Um, but it's not too high where the cows can't even reach it at all. So basically the uses of a cattle brush is it keeps the cows happy, which is what our goal is here at Algren Dairy. Our fans here in the barn are very cool because they adjust the fan speed according to different temperature, wind speed, all that stuff. And then uh, if, like if it's hotter, it'll turn up the fans higher to keep the cows cool. Or if the wind speed's too high, it'll turn them down. So it's, if there's natural wind going through the barn, it won't run the fans super fast because it's wasting energy. So it basically always keeps the fans at a good temperature for the cows and the cows love it. It also helps keep the flies off the cows. It also helps keep the cows environment just how they like it. So these are our cow stalls, or cow beds you could call them. We freshly bed them every day and disinfect them with our bedding machine. We just did it just a little while ago and the cows really love it. Anyway, um, cows really like having fresh bedding. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Just like you having fresh bedding. If you have fresh bedding for the cows, it'll keep them cleaner, more healthy cows.
these curtains drop down in the summer time so then when the fans suck the air through the barn from that side all the way to this side the, the curtains make it go through the stalls instead of just out the top. This keeps the cows cool and it helps keep the stalls dry. So all cows have a set routine or cycle that they like to stick to all the time. Um, so basically a cycle is eat at 8 o'clock, go to bed at 8.30, wake up at 12, it doesn't really matter what time of day it is, and then um, they like get milked at 2. You know, like just just a cycle, and they always like to stick to the cycle. They also like familiarity, so they don't really like change that much. Uh, it stresses them out. And then when you give them change, uh, usually their milk production drops, and they get way dirtier because they're just uh, trying to figure out what's new and get a new cycle. Um, so we always try to keep to a certain routine that the cows like, so we always like to bed the stalls on the same day, we always like to clean the robots at the same time because we have to turn them off for a little while. And then always keep the robots going at the same time so that they can always have a cycle. It's not like it hurts them if you don't have a cycle, but it's not necessarily like the best for them. Uh, you always want to keep them having a cycle because happy cows happy life So we always like to stick to a routine so the cows are always Familiar with what they are gonna do next and basically we can always know like when they're gonna be It doesn't mean that they always are perfect to their cycle, but it is pretty close So it's like it's not like super strict But it still has like you know within hours like they do the same thing over and over again